Hey guys, what is going on? Florida Bass Anglers here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some of my uh, tackle and as well as how I organize it for pond fishing. This is for when I go out with my friends and um, I'm pond hopping, I'm going pond to pond. Um, I carry um, pretty much uh, three or four basic types of baits, um, and I'll show you guys uh, um, some of the stuff that I carry, and I'll give you some tips along the way. Um, of what what you should uh, pay attention for what you should do and uh, how to uh, pond fish comfortably um, with your tackle so first uh, how I take all my stuff around is I take my stuff in a backpack um, this is probably the easiest thing that I mean you can you can use is a backpack um, I know people that use uh, just regular tackle bags um, but to me a backpack is uh, probably the easiest it's very easy to carry um, you can put a lot of stuff in it if you choose to um that's one of my tips uh, that i was going to go over was to uh carry a light bag don't um don't overpack your bag to where um it's too heavy for you it's not comfortable or hurt your back hurt your shoulders uh that is that is not a good um a good thing to have is a heavy heavy backpack full of stuff that you don't need such as um empty packages uh, trash, garbage, anything that um, just adds extra weight that is unnecessary. Uh, so first off, let me start with my um, my main baits and stuff. So I'm going to this up here, and uh, we'll start with my small pocket, my first small pocket right here. Um, I keep um, I keep hooks and weights, just some terminal tackle. Um, I keep a a bag with some receipts in it. This is um, some fishing rods and stuff that I built, not built, uh, but bought um, uh, five or six months ago. Um, and I keep these receipts because they're $130 rods. Um, I don't, I, if, if they break, I don't want to be uh, kind of, you know, I have to go buy a new one. I can, I can take that broken rod in, show them these receipts, and they give me a brand new rod, uh, no questions asked. Um, so always, guys, if you buy a new rod, carry your receipts on you. Um, I pretty much pass by where I bought my rods um, every time I go fish. So um, just in case, you know, if I'm out fishing and I break one of my rods, um, I can definitely go back into the store and um, pick up, you know, a new rod and um, swap out the defective one. Um, I also keep a scale in here. Uh, you know, always want to keep a scale. Uh, this is a Quaro. I think I paid $13.99 for it at uh, Bass Pro. It's a really nice scale. Um, very, as again, very discreet, very small, um, very light, um, easily um, accessible, easily uh, used, and easy to carry. Uh, that's all I carry in that pocket, since it is a little bit smaller pocket. Going on to my second pocket right here, uh, I carry... Uh, this is where I used to carry my soft plastic bags, but now I just carry another little carry around bag um, full full of the soft plastics that I like to uh, that I like to fish with. Um, you know your swim baits, your uh, curly tails, your senkos, um, really anything um, you know that I have confidence in and uh, I like to use. So uh, that's pretty much it. Just that's just a bunch of soft plastics and stuff, uh, and a nice little carry case. Um, this is this is another good way uh, to eliminate carrying extra packages of worms that you don't use, or um, extra packages of really anything that you don't use ever. You never got around to using it. Uh, this will eliminate that. I mean, this will. I've maybe got maybe seven or eight packages of worms in there. And uh, before when I made this up, I probably had 15 to 20 packages of worms, and I really had to narrow it down to the worms that I like to use. If you know you're going to use the worm um, and you run out of space still in your in your uh, bag, uh, go ahead and uh, just put them in your bag. Um, you know, uh, if you're definitely going to use them, but if you're not, uh, make sure you're not carrying those around. It adds like, extra weight, and um, it's just kind of in the way sometimes. Uh, so that's that. Um, just a little bag of uh, soft plastics. Uh, and that is all I carry in that pocket. Um, again, that's pretty light, uh, not too heavy. Um, okay, 
So now moving on to my my main big pocket where I carry my um, my hard baits and all my other boxes and stuff. So the first box that I have right here is just a it's a pretty small tackle box, um, but I pretty much carry my jigs, my um, jerk baits, my spinner baits, and my swim bait hooks. Um, I have a couple uh, swim baits in here, like here and here. Um, I have two here, and then I have flukes in this one. Um, these are just because I don't have the containers for them anymore, and um, I might not get around to using them. I do use everything in here. Um, I just might use it at a different time of the year. Like uh, these white ones right here, I'll use these more in the winter when I'm uh, fishing over beds and stuff, or um, in clear water. And then these blue ones I use doing the same thing over the beds and stuff. Uh, but these I use pretty much all year round. They're Houdini's. Um, I got my swim jigs in here, my bluegill swim jigs, and my shad swim jigs. Keep it real, real simple. Um, some spinner baits and uh, some other uh, a um, chatter bait. And uh, that's pretty much it for that box. Uh, not too, not too um, intricate. Some uh, weighted swim bait hooks of a couple different brands. I think there's Laser Sharp and uh, Trocar in there. Um, well, that's that. That's uh, another, you know, uh, very light box. Um, you know, not heavy at all. Doesn't it, it adds weight, but it doesn't add as much as you might think. Um, so secondly, um, I have my hard baits. Um, this is one that I could probably, uh, where I fish, I could probably leave out of my bag um, because it's so weedy right now. Um, I really can't fish anything in here. But since it is so light, um, I still carry it because I might try a different spot that day that I might be able to use them. And um, a moving bait, like a crankbait or a rattle trap, is one of my favorite baits to fish. So um, I definitely do keep it with me just in case. But if you know, you know, you get that time of the year where they're not, like especially people up north, uh, where they're not going to be hitting those moving baits as much. Um, you know, definitely don't carry as many with you. Um, you don't need to, but uh, just some of the stuff that I have in here. Um, you know, I've got a couple different brands. I have uh, Live Targets. I have KVDs. I have uh, some custom baits. I have Arashis. I have Unfair Lures. Um, and I have them in different diving depths. I have, uh, you know, a super shallow diver and then a regular square bill that dives uh, three to six foot. Then I have rattle traps, you know, that variable depths. Then I have, like, these... Uh, um, round bills that'll go uh, four foot, four to five foot. Um, but yeah, then I, and then a couple different sizes too. Um, you know, like a 2.5 um, all the way down to a 1.5. Um, and I also kind of keep the colors pretty simple. I, I tend for more of a shad shiner color. That's about it. Or a bluegill. Uh, shad shiner bluegill are your three main freshwater forages. So definitely, uh, definitely stay with those uh, colors more often. Uh, bass colors, uh, baby bass works uh, very well too. Um, just uh, the main forages are your bait fish, your shad, shiner, bluegill. Uh, and last uh, for the hard baits, uh, I carry a top water box. Um, I went over my like um, swim bait uh, terminal box uh, with a couple different things in there. Uh, swim bait, spinner bait box, my crank baits and hard baits, and now my top water box. Uh, another real small box, not much in there. I have uh, four different. I have uh, four different types of frogs. I have two popping frogs. This is the um, I want to say the scum popping frog, and this is the spro um, pad crasher popping frog. Then I have a live target um, frog. This is the smaller kind. I can't I, I can't remember what the uh, size is. Um, but that's the smaller kind. Um, then I have this one right here, which is another, um, I want to say this is a pad crasher too, but it's a white pad crasher. Um, I customized the bottom. It used to be red, but, um, it's kind of been getting knocked off from fish. So it looks kind of like a pinkish now. Um, but that's that. Uh, then I have just a hard prop bait in here. Um, I haven't, I haven't really used the prop bait too much, um, but I know some people that do, and I know some spots that I'll be able to use it at, um, so I keep it in here. Uh, again, doesn't add much weight at all. Um, so those are, so that is about it for the hard baits. Um, so let me put these back in here, and then I'll show you the rest. 
Uh, I carry pliers. Everybody needs to carry pliers. Um, that's stuff you need. Right here, I have a pair of uh, toenail clippers for uh, cutting line and stuff. Cutting, especially when you cut off a bait. Um, if you forget to, um, you know, cut the, the tie off, if you just leave the tie on, this will get it off real, real quick and easy. Um, I can probably put this in my bag instead of on the side pocket so it doesn't fall out. Um, I keep on the, the handle right here, I keep some scissors uh, for cutting line and stuff. Um, very important. Some scissors. Um, on my side pocket right here, I keep a um like a rag like a who rag like this is the uh the mtb one that we got um a couple months back for um it's one year anniversary and uh, i keep this in here when it gets uh kind of hot out um I i'll put that on um you can wet it put it on it'll cool you down um real nice uh and guys um this is that's pretty much what i carry um in my boxes uh, for pond fishing all the time. Um, I can go over my boat tackle in another video, what we carry on our boat, um, you know, and, uh, you know, obviously a boat isn't something you have to worry about for uh, over tackle, too, ma too much tackle, you know, you can fit as much tackle as you want or can on your boat, it's not going to hurt it. Um, but another thing I did want to show you is just how light my bag is. Um, I just want to show you with my, uh, my digital scale here. Um, let me turn it on, and um, I'll just show you how much the bag actually weighs. 